I've already been to one dinner. Uh, there seems to be, I hate to say it, a lot of pessimism, a lot of sense that inflation is not transitory and that this is going to be extended and prolonged. What are you seeing in the last couple of weeks in terms of at the bank, in terms of bank account balances? What are you seeing now? Well, we're, what we're seeing is, more importantly, the balances, the balances continue to be stable and continue to grow year over year for the broad base of consumers. More importantly, the spending levels in May through the first few weeks are up 10 percent over last May. And that is not as high as it w would otherwise be because last May people pay taxes, so it actually is, is a bigger base to grow from. So year to date, they're up 17 percent, fairly stated in May. They're probably up 17 percent. The consumers continue to spend. In the balances of our customers, they have more money. In April, their balances grew over March. In March, they grew over all the way back to mid last year. So right. the notion that people are spending the stimulus down isn't happening yet. It may happen, but it hasn't happened so, yet. Right. So I was going to say, you, we hear anecdotal reports. Yes. There's some high frequency uh, folks who are looking at things who, who have tried to suggest that the last two or three weeks, bank balances have started instead of rising to start to come down. Is that not the case? It, it'll happen because people are paying their taxes. And so the reason why California has a big sur surplus, a lot of tax we pay, and the U.S. government's having big receipts. So you're seeing, especially among more affluent customers, frankly, than the broader customers, uh, people paying a lot of taxes. And that happened in April. You saw the balances go down a little bit. But that, that's the normal pattern year to year. People will overread that and not really understand that every year uh, this quarter, because in the month of April, we all, everybody sends a bunch of money to the government, and right. the government survives off it and does good things with it. But that's, that's what's happening. Generally stated, though, if you compare this April to last April, it's up 8%. Okay. And, and, and this May to last May, it's still up 8%. The other data point that you always have for us, though, is mortgages. What are you seeing there in terms of people's interest, or are people starting to pull back a little? Well, Mortgages have slowed down because, frankly, the refi thing drops away, right? And so uh, our Bank of America Institute just put out a, a paper the other day uh, from Candace Browning Platt and the team. And what people have to realize about mortgages is all the fixed rate mortgages, which are the dominant, dominant part of them, don't change rates because rates go up. What the impact is on future mortgages. So will people buy houses or be able to buy a big, as big a house? The reality is 200 basis point mortgage rise on a $300,000 house is $500 a month. The question is, if you make $100,000 and you got a 6% income rise, it's the same amount of money. And so what's different than this time when the raise, rates rose in the 17, 18, 19 framework is that wages are rising three times what they're rising back then so people can keep up with. It's going to be interesting that tug of Right now, they slow down all on the refi. The house purchases are still going through. So all of this says what to you about this larger conversation that's having, that we're having now about our economy? So there's a lot of fear and worry about the Fed tightening and the Fed will slow down the economy. That is what they're going to do. And so our economists have this year predicted they, everybody keeps moving. As the Fed has said, they're going to raise rates faster. Everybody keeps moving their estimates down. Our economists said Friday uh, there's a thir one third re uh, chance for recession. Those numbers get overquoted. If you would have asked them in the middle of 17, 18, they'd have said there's a 15 to 20 percent chance of recession when nobody had it on their mind. The reality is, is it's moved up. It's moved up because the government has to slow down and take on inflation. Inflation, inflation you said transitory. It wasn't transitory last fall, and that's what everybody was figuring out. Now they've got to move fast. They've, they moved 50. Last meeting, they expect to move 52 meetings. That is an unprecedented fast rate. The question is, can they slow it down without tipping it over? And that's what the debate's about. People get up in the morning and on one side of the bed said it's going to tip over. People on the other side of the bed said we'll be fine. Our team believes we'll grow this year and next year. And by the way, if you look at all the blue chip economists, only one out of like 40 economists has a negative number this year and nobody has one next year. And if you look at all the big firms, none of them have a negative quarter. So something is this, the probability is rising, the fear is going up, but the reality is, is no one's really saying there'll be a recession in 22 or 23 yet. We'll see what happens. What is Brian Moynihan week. saying? We, we think the economy will slow down, but with this kind of spending and this kind of activity, the Fed has a tough job. And this kind of employment tightness, the Fed has a tough job, but it's a job they have to, they're getting after much faster than they've done before, and we'll have to see if they can get the right. balance right.